I'm going to varnish out of my paintings today, my acrylic paintings. This is one that I'm going to do. I've got quite a lot here. So um, I am going to video uh, me varnishing them. Okay, this is take three. I've been having problems this morning with the iPhone going off. I'm about to um, varnish a heap of my uh, acrylic pour paintings. I'm going to be using this, which is Global Gloss Medium and Varnish. I poured a little bit into a cup so I don't have to use the whole jar. So you can see these two paintings, these two here, I have already uh, poured some, I've already varnished them and they're sitting there until they dry. And you can see that it goes all cloudy, um, but that, as, it, as it cures, that will, the cloudiness will go away. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to very gently clean the silicone off this painting. I'm using just um, makeup face wipes to do this, and it's it's enough to do to get the silicone off because these little bubbles are created with silicone. I've already done this once, but I'm just showing you again how I do it. I do it very gently so as not to get, um, if the paint's not quite dry properly, it would come off on there. But you, as you can see, nothing's come off. So what I do is I literally pour this on. And the reason I pour it on instead of brushing it is because I like it to be smooth without brush marks on it. Be enough. So what I'll do now is I'll tilt and um, go over the edges. And I can pick up the pouring medium that's spilt over the sides and use that on the work as well. I found this to be the best way to get a nice even um, varnishing around the sides. So with my fingers I will go around the edges and smooth those off a little bit. Wipe my hands with a paper towel. And then, using my torch, I will run this over here to pop any bubbles. So you don't want any bubbles in your work. I will also check, look down at the sides and check to make sure there's no hairs or anything like that in it. And um, I'll just use this knife to go around the sides here and smooth it out a little bit. But that should run down anyway and I can just run around the edges with this. So this is one here, this is one that I did a while ago and um, I've put one coat of varnish on but I'm going to do another coat on that as well so that 
Actually, I won't on that one because that one's quite smooth. But as you can see underneath it, I have those push pins. They're giant push pins that I buy in office work. So that one is actually okay. But I've got another one here that I varnished a while ago. But as you can see, there's some grooves in there because the paint wasn't smooth. So what I will do is I will move this one aside over here. I'll pick up some of this varnish here so I can use it again. I'll pick that up later, I won't waste the time here. I'll put this down here. I'll give it another wipe over with the face wipe to make sure it hasn't got any greasy finger marks or something else in it. This is just a clean, but this one, as you, as you know, oh, I need to put something underneath. I might need four of those. Give it another quick wipe over. Okay, so my medium I will pour into this cup. And I will give this one a second coat. So that I can make it smooth. I could leave it with the um, dents in it if I liked it like that, if I liked that look, but I want this one to be smooth, so I will do a second coat on it. So now, and there's a bubble, I'll pop the bubble. I will now gently tilt this one to um, so the pouring medium goes over the sides, the varnish goes over the sides and I will pick the, up what is um, what has flowed over and use it on another one so I won't waste all that much, it's not, it's fairly expensive. Another bubble here, I can pop the bubbles using a toothpick or something. It's just a cocktail pit, I think. That bubble doesn't want to go away. Over the side, any little dirt bits or dust bits that you find. And then I'll wipe my hands and I'll use my torch. And I haven't gone around the edges on this one yet. I'll move this over a little bit. So you can see. making sure the edges are smooth. I'll use this silicone 
stirring stick to um, to just go around the edges too. Just to make sure it's nice and smooth on the edges. And there you have it. That's how I'll just give this another quick. Now over with the with the torch to make sure the bubbles are hot. And that's how I do it. Oh, I can see a little bit of dust here, so I will. Where is it? I think I've got that. Just checking to make sure there's no more. So this is, oh, just to show you the difference, this is one that I varnished some time ago. And you can see how nice and shiny that has come up. And this is, just as a comparison, this is one that I resined and so you can see the varnish one is well obviously the, the resin is probably better but the varnish one is pretty good I think what do you think anyway that'll be it for now thanks for watching and I will post these when they're uh, when they've um, when they're dry so that you can see what the finished result is. I've got a lot more to do now so um, bye for now.